Good morning everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to this Bitcoin price analysis. We have seen a nice run up in the last couple of hours. We are going to have a look into that and also we're going to focus into the monthly time frame today because we have the last trading day of this month. So we're going to focus on Bitcoin as always guys and for everyone that is new in this channel make sure to be subscribed here I update you every day what is going on here in the crypto space not only for Bitcoin but also for altcoins and also many many meme coins that are out there you find all the relevant links to all exchanges that I'm using here in the video description and also all the newest the project coins like Dogeverse, Shiba Shootout, Play Doge, AI Pay, and so on. We're gonna have an update also on that because tomorrow is the long awaited launch of AI Pay. All right, guys, so let's dive here straight into the Bitcoin chart in the four hour time frame. And yesterday, basically, out of nothing, we have seen a nice run up into our resistance that we have here from this uh, symmetrical triangle. We still have this red trend line, which is acting here as a resistance. And as you can see, this four hour candle ended up with a huge week to the upside, which in theory is a bearish sign. That means that here a lot of traders are taking profits and to the T we touched the resistance at $69,500 and afterwards we came back we came back down to the main support at around $68,300. Currently we're holding the line, but based on the indicators, it doesn't really look too overwhelming right now. We have a clear decrease in money flow and that in my opinion will most likely lead into more downside. And that is very sad to see because today we have the last trading day of May. And even though we are closing in green, this this candle, this month of May candle is gonna close in green, most likely, if we don't drop today below $60,000. And also we are closing above the top side of the Calton channels currently at 63K, if nothing bad is happening during the day. Even though this is of course bullish and afterwards we should expect continuation to the upside because every time Bitcoin is having monthly closes above the top side of the Calden channels, we are in this parabolic run up towards uh, the cycle top of its bull run. Every time Bitcoin is having monthly closes above the top side of the Calden channels like we have seen in the past, as you can see here, every time until we closed again below, we were in a parabolic run up. And yes, this is still possible, although time wise, it makes sense if we would see straight away continuation to the upside. But the problem, as I told you guys, is that we have right now a sell signal, which will be confirmed today. If we don't see immediately new all-time highs and push above 71,000 uh, or so even better $73,000 and close also above there, this sell signal will be confirmed. We have the VWAP shifted to the downside, the money flow, the RSI is still shifted to the upside, but I think with this monthly close, most likely it will turn down again. Then we are waiting for the confirmation bearish signal here for the bearish cross, this will be the last sell signal that will be confirmed if we don't see immediately new all-time highs and we have already a bearish cross in the stochastic RSI and every time we had that every time all three indicators signaled a sell signal most of the times this one was the first one and also the stochastic and afterwards the confirmation came a bit later on this was not always the cycle top but at least a major local top before a bigger crash and then we geared up for the next big move or after everything did a reset we geared up then for the next big bull run or the next big uh, uh, run up we have seen that here as you can see below here this is the, the the cycle top of the last bull run sell signal bearish cross everywhere big crash down to the median line of the calvin channels then a bounce rejected at the top side of the calvin channels and then bear market here again, cycle top at 20k, everywhere, bearish crosses, crash down to the, um, to the median line of the Calvin channels, bounce to the top side of the Calvin channels, rejected, bear market. Then we can go down here, cycle top, big crash to the bottom of the Calvin, uh, median line of the Calvin channels, bounce. Here we didn't even come up to touch the top side of the Calvin channels, then big bear market. 
even here we had uh, a big crash down to the median line of the Kelton channels and afterwards a big uh, continuation to the upside. So I think that although time-wise and where we're standing right now, we could eventually form something like in 2013, where we are here right now, where we also have sell signal, bearish cross, bearish cross. So the top was here at $270. Then we had the big crash of the median line of the Kelton channels at 62k and after a few months big continuation towards a real cycle top so towards a 236 Fibonacci extension level of this bull run but here we already reached the 1.618 so far we're still far away from the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level so 100% you cannot compare it but what you can do is imagine if we are in a similar phase like in 2013 we could face here another crash down to the median line of the Kelton channels, currently at 43k. It will go higher next month, of course, because the price action is higher than the median line. Have this reset, so cool down all the indicators, and then probably gear up for that final move towards the cycle top somewhere up here, and get there probably another sell signal or something like that, and then bear market. This is a potential scenario, and this is just based on the monthly time frame. Because here this is really concerning guys and that's why I think the month of June will tell us really in which direction that we're going and also in the past June was never a good month for Bitcoin so it is possible that maybe during the summer so during June July maybe we're coming down to test this area down here before we gear up then for the next big parabolic move to the upside because also remember based on the Pi cycle indicator this is a very important indicator that I'm always watching to take uh, important um, uh, steps uh, whenever I'm buying big chunks of Bitcoin. We are still trading between the shorter moving average and the long term moving average. We are seeing the last parabolic run up for Bitcoin always when we have daily and weekly closes above the long term moving average currently at 87k. We are still far away from it. We are actually more at the bottom at the short term moving average which normally is a good buy opportunity whenever we're coming down to this short term moving average. The problem is only that of course we can also still drop below this moving average and then recover back up if we would see in the next coming 2-3 months. Uh, that correction that I'm afraid that could be happening based on the monthly indicators. But in theory, as long as we are holding the short term moving average, we will be trading between those moving averages until we see here a clear breakdown or a break up. That means if we have this, that parabolic run up towards 87k and then also push higher, then Bitcoin will enter into the last stage of this bull run. But until then, we're just going to go sideways. And there is still the risk, of course, that we eventually could even drop uh, below the short term moving average and uh, yeah basically come back below fifty thousand dollars for bitcoin and then gear up for the last big move to the upside because here also we still don't have uh, the pi cycle indicator flashing any kind of uh, cycle top normally the cycle top appears when we have the shorter moving average crossing above the long term and as you can see we are by far not there in theory, the bull run still can take several months, maybe even years until we're going to reach that uh, cycle top. And depends, of course, on the price action. Time-wise, I would expect Bitcoin to immediately go towards new all-time highs. But based on the indicators, I think downside is now incoming next. And then we're going to see uh, what will happen. If we get then somewhere a bounce, then the bull run will continue, of course. So unfortunately, the month of May, even though it is everything green, is not closing bullish based on the indicators. And uh, yeah, we will see where we're going to close today. If we would see a monthly close above the previous highs here, so above uh, $71,500, then I would be more bullish. For now, I think that we could eventually face more downside in the next coming months. And for everyone that is diversifying into some altcoins, because the altcoins currently are doing great, all the ordinals yesterday pumped uh, like uh, 30%. Yesterday we had a little 30% increase out of nothing here on the ordinals. I think that if Bitcoin resumes the uptrend or the bull run, the altcoins will explode like crazy. And I think that many altcoins will outperform Bitcoin, but not all of them, of course. And uh, that's why it's also good to diversify into some altcoins. And if you want to buy all the new coins that are yet not listed on exchanges with very low market cap, then check out the new project coins, especially Dogeverse. This is the next big hyped Doge coin. This one is coming out on the 3rd of... Um, uh, no, until the 3rd of June, you have time to buy it. On the 5th of June, uh, you can claim it and trade it. So hurry up, you can still buy it at a very cheap price. Uh, the link to Dogeverse is, is in the video description. You can use Solana, BNB, Matic and so on to buy this. Then we have Play Doge. This is a play to earn a new Dogecoin type of game and token. You can also buy this. Then we have Shiba uh, Shootout, um, the Cat AI, Wiener AI and so on. 
tons of new meme coins that are coming out. Definitely buy them, check them out if you want. The, the, they are all very high risk, so it doesn't matter which one you're buying. They're all high risk, but also high rewards if they're going to be successful. Also this one here, the Play Doge is selling off very quickly. Uh, the API is dropping significantly lower now every day. So check it out guys. And also AI Pay is coming out uh, tomorrow basically. So one day and two hours left. If you want to get some of those uh, tokens, get it for free with my link, 100 tokens for free if you sign up to AI Pay. The link is also in the video description. And of course, um, we will see what happens with this app and with the token. The app is still not out yet. And uh, yeah, we just have to wait. The idea, the app, everything is looking great. I hope that this is going to be a successful launch. I'm very, very bullish on AI Pay. Let's see what happens. If you want to buy it currently, you can get it until tomorrow at a fraction of a cent then it will be listed on exchanges for one cent. At least this is the roadmap, this is the plan that they have. We will see what happens basically tomorrow. I will update you, so stay tuned. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.